So today we're going to continue on with our Amazon Echo Plus and test this out with the NanoLeaf Smart Bulb. So of course the Echo Plus is a Zigbee bridge integrated and you can connect Zigbee devices like the NanoLeaf or the Philips Hue or the IKEA uh, thread free bulbs directly to the Echo Plus, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go through that today. Um, if you enjoy this, again, this is a little bit branching out from the HomeKit stuff. Please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see about continuing on the journey with the Amazon Echo as well as HomeKit and we'll, uh, we of course won't abandon that. So with that, let's take a look. So here we are on the Amazon Madam A app and what we're gonna do is click on the, um, tap on the question mark in the bottom or top right hand corner. Today we're going to be connecting our smart bulbs from NanoLeaf, our Zigbee bulbs, the Ivy, directly to our Echo Plus. So if we go down here, scroll down a little bit, we'll get to, there we go, the Nano Leaf, and it says, okay, we want to click Discover Devices and then power on your light. So do it in that order. Don't power on your light and then click Discover Devices because it won't work. And if you're having trouble, you might need to factory reset your bulb. So if you've already had this connected to another Zigbee bridge of any kind, uh, you're definitely going to have to factory reset the bulb, which for the Nano Leaf is turn it on and off eight times. So we will start out with that just to show you guys what that looks like here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. See the flashing? That means it is just factory reset itself. So we're gonna shut that off now. And on our Andy Madam A app, we're gonna click on the add device button, and we're just gonna turn this back on. You can see that flickering right now. That means that the bulb is being paired directly with the Amazon Echo Plus Zigbee Hub. So now, of course, uh, Madame A is going to continue on to, to do her thing and discover any other devices, any other um, smart home skills you've got set up. She's going to be detecting all those to see if anything else has been added since the last time that a full discovery was run. So this is going to take a couple seconds. There we go. The third light has been found. So we're going to go down to the T's here. There we go. Waiting for Nano Leaf. Awesome. Of course, we can turn it off. We can turn it on. We can go into the edits. We can say it's got no color capabilities. It's connected directly via the um, Echo Plus. And it is a nano leaf white light, so not much to uh, to really do here. Of course, we can put this and click on the edit button as well. Um, and to finish this off, we can always go over to our groups, and we can add this into a group and and basically put it wherever we want it to be. So that's that's really it. Um, not much uh, more to do here. The the nano leaf bulbs are super cool looking. I really like them. The, the effect that they bring to a room is really cool. They're definitely a conversation piece. You don't need any um, any shade to hide this, and it just works. You know that's that's nice. What's interesting to note here is um, the nano leaf will not pair directly with the Philips Hue bridge, but it appears that so far the Amazon Echo Plus Zigbee seems to be the most um, consistent and interoperable among the Zigbee bridges that I've I've tested out. It seems to work the same with your IKEA bulbs, your Philips Hue bulbs, your Nano Leaf bulbs. It's really really solid. Just seems to work and and does what it does. Uh, drawbacks, of course, with the Echo Plus is that it at this point in time doesn't seem to have any motion sensors and you can't set up routines directly using the Madam A app. Uh, that's definitely something I expect to see improvement on in the coming uh, coming months. Um, so look for that in 2018. If you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, please post them below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, um, definitely do that. If you found this video useful, please give me the thumbs up. That definitely helps out. See you soon.